WebSockets provide a powerful way to achieve real-time communication in web applications. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to implement WebSockets in Go, enabling bidirectional, low-latency communication between clients and the server. We'll create a simple chat application to demonstrate the concept. We are going to use the Gorilla WebSocket package. Let's talk about it a bit. It's designed to make WebSocket implementation in Golang both straightforward and efficient. Gorilla WebSocket is known for its high performance and simple API. It's also highly customizable. We can adapt the library to many specific use cases, whether we need to handle advanced scenarios or incorporate authentication. First, let's install this package. We start with this boilerplate web app. Here in the main function, we have this root and a handler function handle web socket for it. The handler function is defined here. It takes two parameters, HTTP response writer and HTTP request itself. The server listens on 8080 port. Now we begin by creating a new upgrader. The primary purpose of the WebSocket upgrader is to upgrade an incoming HTTP request to a WebSocket connection. We specify read and write buffer sizes. You can choose these values based on your use case. Now in the WebSocket handler function, we upgrade HTTP requests. Here we call upgrader.upgrade to upgrade the incoming HTTP connection to a WebSocket connection. This returns the connection and an error, if any. Let's handle the error. Now make sure that the connection is closed when we are done. Let's handle the incoming WebSocket messages here. For each message received, we will run this block of code. We read a message using the connection.readMessage function. It returns message type, data, and error. We return if there is an error. Now let's send the same message back to the client. If there is an error, print it and return. To test our server, we are going to use this client. The code is fairly simple. Here we create a WebSocket connection with the server. It has a simple text box and a button to send the message. On button click, it sends the message from the text box. Here, we handle the message received from the server and add it to the page. Let's see this in action. Start the Go server. Now, open the client file in a browser. We type our message here and send it. And we don't receive anything back. Let's check the server. We have an error here. Request origin not allowed by upgrader.check origin. This error is related to cause. For now, we will configure the server to accept any origin by adding this to the upgrader. Let's restart the server and try again. Send the message again. And we receive it back. This is a simple server that echoes back what it receives. This tutorial covered setting up the server, creating a WebSocket handler, and establishing a WebSocket connection on the client side. Thank you for watching and happy coding.